So what I did was I block booked the viewings the day before. I personally like to book at least five viewings if I'm going all the way up to a city or anywhere really to view properties. I like to fill the diary with them because inevitably, and this is in my personal experience, every single time I've gone to a city, there's been at least one viewing, okay, that has canceled on the day or even the day before. In Hull, I had two. I had one cancel on the way up there on the train. The agent decided to tell me on the way there as I was on the train to Hull that that property and offer had been made on it and it was now coming off the market, which of course I was livid about because if that was the only viewing that I had booked for the day, I would have already been on the train on the way up there. And I had a second one canceled because they couldn't get the keys to get into the property. So block book, at least five I'd say, and check the day before with the agent. Um, that the viewing is still on and you know whether someone's put an offer on in the last 12 to 24 hours and it's now off the market okay in order to do that in order to choose those properties if you I jumped in a lot of forums and I asked locals from the city it's like where is a good place to live what are the best areas of the city what are the worst areas of the city when you get on forums local forums like um in this case, a forum for Hull, and I've done this in all different areas and all different cities of the UK. People can't wait to give you their opinion on where the best and worst areas of the city are. Those are really popular discussions, discussion threads and posts, and I always get just a ton of information just by saying something along the lines of, I'm looking to move to the city, which I'm obviously not, um, but I'd like to know as a person that's prospectively looking to live in a city, where is good and where is bad, to live and you'll get a lot of information then it's up to you to actually you know go through all that go there and walk through these areas walk it out you know go on foot if you can as long as it's safe yeah you don't want to be walking through you know some dodgy hood or just any hood in in the uk so like know where you're going get some background information make sure it's all you know cool to be on your own there during the day and just walk around. And then when you're there and you're at these viewings, ask the agent just loads of questions. I'm sure I annoy agents, but I ask them everything I can about like the seller situation, why they're selling, um, when they want to sell by, about the area. Do you know much about, sorry, the area in general? Um, where's popular? City Council has done a lot of regeneration. Yeah. You know, how much are properties selling for? Properties tend to be a little bit cheaper in HG6 than yeah. HG5. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit more of a premium. For above asking price, all of that. Sometimes they'll tell you, sometimes they won't. Doesn't matter, I'm asking, okay? So anyway, I made an offer that was accepted. I got it for £5,000 below the art skin price, which was I was very happy about. Thank you for watching. This year, I'm making a video every month to answer any questions that you have for me. So whether you want to know whether you should invest in a limited company or in your own name, whether you should buy a flat or a house, what is the best way to get started in property or who my barber is, just let me know. You can ask me in the comment section below on Instagram, on TikTok, and I'll make a video dedicated to your questions. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.